In this tutorial, we're going to look at pre weight and post weight in our queue list. So we can add a pre weight onto a queue, meaning that when we trigger the queue, the pre weight will start over a determined amount of time and then the action will start after the pre weight is complete. So we're going to put in a pre weight of five seconds for this example. Now, when we trigger the queue, there'll be a five second pre weight before the action starts. We can also use post wait to automatically trigger our next queue. Again, we can determine the time here, so we're going to use a time of 10 seconds. And to activate the post wait, we need to put in an auto continue in our column here. So we click once to get auto continue. That means that the queue after will be triggered when the post wait is complete automatically. The post wait starts when the action starts. So when we trigger our queue, we will have five seconds of pre wait, then the action and the post wait timers will start at the same time. When the post wait is complete, our auto continue will kick in and trigger the next queue automatically, like so. And that is how you can use pre-weight and post-weight to help with your queue list.